It's not easy being me we'll Wash your face and brush your hair we'll Nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules okay so easy being me, I'm horrid Henry. <laughs> ah! Mom! <laughs> Henry's putting slime in my muesli! Don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, I love slime! But not at the table. Give it to me. But I'm taking it to school. No, you're not. But I've got to take something so we can bury it. Bury it? Yes. We're making a time capsule. A time capsule? What's that? None of your business, worm. Henry! You put something in a time capsule and bury it so that when someone in the future finds it, they'll know all about you. Why don't you take one of your other toys? No! I don't want to give anything else away. I want to take my slime in. Oh, I would take in a book of poems. Oh, what a lovely idea, Peter. You are a good boy. <coughs> don't be horrid, Henry. Now go and get dressed. And Henry, you are not taking that slime into school. You'll have to find something else for your time capsule. <coughs> Henry! Hurry up! We're going to be late! Psst. Bye, Bunny. Be good today. Ugh, stupid Bunny! Come on, Henry! Come on, Bunny! You're coming with me! Here is our time capsule. Who will be the first to put something special in it? Margaret? Oh, football boots, cos I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Carries a message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Can I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes. In a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Bunny anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Bunny's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. This'll take forever! Unless 
course I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <clears throat> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. <laughs> Henry, you have got to find bunny or else. I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward. I bet they were boys. Miss? Henry, no! Miss? We mustn't give in to these hooligans! Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show them we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry, have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes, Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Henry? You're the time capsule thief? No. Well, yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry, if anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, hmm, it might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? All right. I won't tell if you won't. Promise? Promise. But I need Bunny back. Of course. Though that means I won't have anything to remember you by. Still, you're probably the one child I have no wish to remember and will probably never forget. I can live with that. Here's Bunny. Bunny! Where have you been? Can I have my pocket money now? Henry, 
Sorry. Do you know what this is? It's my slime! Uh-oh. It's my slime. Yes. And Miss Battleaxe found it at the scene of a crime. Apparently, you organised the trashing of the school gardens. Well... And it's going to cost a lot to replant everything. But... So that means no pocket money for you for a very long time. just know you're going to pass your exam, Peter. You're going to make us so proud. Ladies and gentlemen, today I shall play my favourite piece, the theme from Happy Hippos. as the king. 
kill a boy rat. Oh. No, we won't. We'll be better. Come on, we've got to get a third band member. Enter. Why do you want to join our band? Um, I want to make friends and be happy. <laughs> You were great, Henry. Mm, too good. Next! Can you sing? Uh, I don't know. Play a piano? I don't know. Bang a drum? Shake a tambourine? Click your fingers? I don't know. Next! Next! Oh, can you actually play that? Uh, uh, no, um, but I know lots of interesting things. Next! I told you, Ralph, no girls allowed. Aha! There is our third band member. So, if you join my band, you can be Captain Peter of the Purple Hand Gang. What, like an in-charge captain? Yes. Oh, sort of. I'm still leader, of course. And I'm second in command. But you can be next in charge after that. Wow. I'll do it. But there's no time to practice. Oh, don't you worry about that. Can I buy rats? Here I come! <laughs> well, my horrid heroes, today's the day. Yeah, the day we're going to win. And you to come last. <laughs> yeah, last. <laughs> what if she's right? What if we do come last? Oh, relax. I've got it all sorted. Those killer boy rats tickets are mine. <laughs> Welcome to this, our first talent competition. Our first act is Al, who's going to try and beat the school press-up record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Come on, do your stuff! Eight, nine... Al... Uh, well, next we have Brian's brilliant brain. Ask me a question, anything at all, and I will know the answer. Who invented the telephone? Easy, Alexander Graham Bell. What's the capital city of Portugal? <laughs> Simple, Lisbon. Who gave Lazy Linda the answers in last week's math test in return for a big bag of sweets? Uh, well, I... Mm. <coughs> Me, I did it. I want to go with you. <laughs> yes, well, there goes Brian and his brain. Um, the next is Margaret and her ventriloquist dummy, Susan. <laughs> Why do ducklings walk softly? Because they can't walk hardly. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to say that bit. You were supposed to say I don't know. Well, I didn't, did I? <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> Too good. Then let's give the audience something to really laugh about. <gasps> what are you doing? They're about to... Drop out of the show! <laughs> oh, say something then, dummy! <laughs> that was really horrid, Henry! <laughs> oh dear, and now is the moment we've all been dreading. Uh, please accept my sincere apologies for Henry's horrid heroes. Two, three, four.
Your little brother's gonna win. I'll get to see the killer boy rats yet. Oh, you horrid boy. Well done, Peter. A clever angel. Yeah, well done, Worm. Who'd have thought your Jello would win me tickets to see the killer boy rats? Well worth the triple detention. Kill, bro, kill. What's this? <laughs> Great, isn't it? We're all going to see Happy Hippos on Ice. What? 